Tetangga How are you settling in, Biggie? Oh, you look like you were comfortable there. Put this up now. I'm still not going to give you the full tour. I'll give you a little spinny spinny on the, on the chair. On my computer chair. These are all my guitars. Yeah, I know, Biggie. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm not going to give... Oh, the date. It is um, Monday the 4th of October, 9.30pm. Uh, as I say, I'm not going to give you the full tour yet. I'm going to save that and um, do that later this week when I've finished unpacking some more. I am now pretty much done up here. There are a few other bits that I do need to sort here that I'm sort of ticking off slowly but surely. But now the majority of the stuff that needs doing is downstairs. Um, not far off having the living room done. So once the living room is done, a few bits I'm going to do in the bathroom and then it's the kitchen and garden are all that remains really. Um, Today I slept in late actually, I didn't mean to sleep as late as I did but my um, phone ran out of battery overnight and I had left it plugged in but the plug wasn't working so um, yeah I did eventually wake up at like about half twelve. Oh this is going to hurt because Biggie's jumping up, no he's alright, he likes jumping up but he gets his claws out. Um, yeah so I woke up kind of late and then my mum was on her way over here pretty much straight away so I met with her. Went into town, did some charity shopping, so I got some uh, vinyl records and some books, uh, which I'm going to do a haul of later. And I'm currently listening to a Wham vinyl. Uh, it's actually pretty good, not going to lie. Um, <laughs> apart from the, the rap, Wham rap, that was terrible. I don't know why they did that. That was definitely cultural appropriation. They were, you know, the innovators in the cultural appropriation thing, I suppose, because they did it nice and early. Anyway, so yeah, met my mum, we went into town, went around the charity shops, um, then after that we went back to my old house. Oh, he's found his flippy fish. We went back to my old house and picked up, we had a load of um, wood from the old bookcases that needed to go to the dump, so we took that all to the dump. Um, and then we went for some food at the Chilton Taps and I had a pint, I had uh, my first alcoholic drink of over a year, so that was very nice. Um, and now I can drink at other events and stuff without it being super weird and people being like, oh, it's your first drink for years. It'd be like, no, it's my first drink since last week, mate. So, yeah, uh, we did all that. Then we went back to West End Street and did the rest of the cleaning and stuff. Uh, so I mostly was doing the hoovering and a few other bits and bobs. My mum cleaned around. So we're now happy that that's ready to hand over. Um, I do need to write a list and a little letter to the owner slash landlord um, so I'm gonna do that this evening and then I'll head back tomorrow and leave my key behind and um, this note for him and uh, maybe have a little attack of the outside gardeny bit as well we'll see um, yeah I'll probably only spend half an hour an hour there at most so um, and then tomorrow yeah tomorrow morning my mum's meeting me about 10 a.m. she's hopefully gonna bring some compost over if not we're gonna go and try and get some then we're going to do another trip to the dump to take some of the stuff from here and she's also going to take a load of stuff back with her so we're going to try and take some of the bigger stuff to the dump um, and then yeah and then she'll probably take a load of cardboard boxes back with her I was kind of supposed to flatten them this evening but it's half nine it's dark outside and I haven't done it and I've still been unpacking in here you know so we'll see um, yeah, my bins get collected on Wednesday as well. Very exciting for the first time. Because um, that'll obviously... I have two bins. And um, there's only me living here. So I can get a load of stuff in those bins as well, which is all good. But yeah, once my mum... We've gone... To, we're going to go to the dump. Then we're going to go into Marlow and go around the charity shops there and have some lunch in Marlow. And then she's going to drop me off back here and then head home. And then basically, once she's done that... Well, then I need to go to West End Street, so I'll probably do that. And I've got a few other admin bits to do. But yeah, pretty much as of Wednesday, I think it'll be as of Wednesday, I'm going to be back to business as usual. So I want to try and get as much unpacking and stuff done before then, so I can go back to business as usual. Reading-wise, I'm reading The Dark by James Herbert. It's very good. I am enjoying it. Um, I'm about 60-odd pages in, so I'll be doing a full review of that. Um, and then, I don't know what's next, maybe one of the new books that I got. Um, but at the moment, Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp are all down and it's kind of annoying because I've got a few things I want to post to Instagram 
I've got people I want to chat to on Facebook and I want to chat to my mum on WhatsApp. So, well done Facebook. And it's been down for like four hours. Let's give it a refresh. It's uh, a DNS probe finished NX domain as well. This site can't be reached. And from my own experience with web hosting and stuff, that's not a good error to have. That sounds like something's wrong with their DNS settings. And if there is something wrong with their DNS settings, like that can take up to 24 hours to update. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're st like still down when I go to bed and then are up in the morning. So we will see. But on the plus side, without those, there's less distractions, fewer distractions, my bad. Uh, so yeah, so that's where we're at. Oh, and I've finished editing tomorrow's radio show, so I just have to upload that. It's Monday, and on Friday I have my new internet coming. So, um, yeah. Oh, and I'm watching Halloween as well. Hello everyone, it is currently 5 to 11 on Tuesday the 5th of October. How stuff's all going well, I've actually now pretty much unpacked everything. Um, so that's good. Um, I still have a few bits to do, like the kitchen needs a tidy. It's very busy in there at the moment. Uh, and I need to do the garden as well. Um, finished off at the old house, but I need to go back. I've hired a van, uh, it's gonna cost me 45 pounds. And he's gonna come tomorrow to take away. Uh, there's a sofa outside of the front here, a uh, table and chairs set from the garden, a suitcase just full of bedding and stuff. So that's what's got to go from here. And then from the old house, there's a bookcase that I use as like as a, um, a vertical garden. So I don't know what we're going to do about that because it's full of compost as well. So we might have to try and tip the compost out or something. Um, we'll see. I, don't, I, I haven't figured that out yet. Um, and then also there's a wardrobe and a bed that needs to go from there. Um, I told my old landlord he could go over today and I haven't heard from him so that's kind of good news. So I left the key there and a note of the stuff that he needs to do. Um, and the fact that I haven't heard from him is a positive sign because I was worried he was going to call me up and be like what the fuck have you done to my place. Um, but he's sold it anyway so I don't think he's too worried. So um, yeah I'll, I'll get those things moved and then give him another, give him a call tomorrow and see what the crack is. Um, but I don't technically have to hand it over until Thursday anyway, so that's okay. Uh, woke up about 8am this morning um, and then I went to, my mum picked me up and we went into Marlow, went around the charity shops, went to a zero waste shop there which was nice as well, so I got some goodies from that. Um, then we went to Asda, we were going to get compost but they didn't have any. Um, I did get an indoor plant but that's about it. So uh, yeah, and then we came back here, we'd uh, done a dump run as well and uh, gone to the farm shop which was nice. And uh, yeah, then we just sort of came back here, she dropped me off, she loaded up her car with some stuff she's taken back to hers to throw away. And uh, that's it, so now, as of tomorrow, basically after this van's gone and we've done that, um, I'm back to business as usual. I'm working in um, my normal hours as opposed to reduced hours while I unpack and s sort this place. But as I say, it's worked out anyway that I pretty much finished this evening now, so um, yeah, that should be okay. Uh, Bookwise, I'm still reading The Dark by James Herbert. I have about 100 pages to go of that. I'm still enjoying it so far. Um, it's on it's on course for either a 3.5 or a 4 out of 5, so we'll see. Uh, got my radio show out today. Done a few other bits of filming, some hauls and stuff like that, and been doing editing. Uh, my selling limit on eBay has increased, and I list stuff on eBay while um, while editing basically. I actually have a bunch of stuff I've sold on eBay that I need to find and post but that's going to be a ball ache because my books aren't alphabetized or anything. So that is where we're at. Um, I don't think I've got anything else for you today. Hello, oh lord, hopefully you're not epileptic because my bedroom will have just triggered you, sorry about that. Um, where are we? It is 9pm on Wednesday the 6th of October. Let's see what's new. Um, I met the man with the van today and we took the sofa from here and some stuff from outside my old house to the dump. Um, the old landlord has also gone round and he's not very happy about the state of the place, but then it, it was a shithole to begin with and it just became more of a shithole over six years. So, um, you know, he's like upset because he needs new carpets because um, he said they were new when I moved in, but that was six years ago as well. So it's like, well, they're still seven years old. Um, and there's a broken window as well, so we need to sort we need to sort those. But I've said he can take money out of my deposit for that. And there's some stuff inside as well, a wardrobe and a bed that I was gonna take to the dump, but basically he'd moved the key, so I, I didn't know where it was. It turns out he'd hid it inside the washing machine, so I need to go back and try that again. But uh, I can't do that until Sunday morning. That's the next time that both me and the van guy are available. 
So yeah, the old landlord's gonna ring the estate agents and they're gonna go round and then I guess he's gonna be back to me with conclusions, etc., etc. Um it is, as I say, it's Wednesday. Tomorrow I have a Hoover coming for this place, and then on Friday the internet man is coming to sort out my internet, so that's very exciting. Um, I got my new monitor today now as well, so I'll spin round. That's my PC where I do my work. That's my Mac where I've got like YouTube or Netflix on, um, and where I edit my videos as well. So just having a little spinny spin. What else came today? A spice rack arrived, so I need to set that up later. A few other bits and bobs. Um, today is my first day of going back to like regular working hours. So in fact, I've been working slightly more than I normally would to make up for the fact that I had been working slightly less than I normally would. So I've been on that and um, yeah, keeping on, keeping on, doing all right, catching up with some of the stuff that needs doing. Um, I'm mostly unpacked now as well. So it's just a case now of like doing little bits at a time rather than spending half an hour at a time unpacking, you know? Um, I finished reading The Dark by James Herbert, pretty good, probably a week, four out of five. Um, the ending, I lost a bit of interest near the end to be honest, but other than that it was pretty good. And I've just started reading The Electric Acid Kool-Aid Test, is that what it's called? Yeah, no, The Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test by Tom Wolfe, um, which is about hippies basically. Um, I'm only like 20 pages in, but so far it's all been about um, Ken Casey coming out of jail, Ken Casey being the guy who wrote One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Uh, I posted a video, a uh, photo, sorry, of uh, my TBR shelves recently and asked people for their recommendations and that was the only one that got two votes, so that's why I'm reading that. Um, and I have all these books that I've hauled recently and I've filmed the videos of me hauling them but I haven't added them to Goodreads yet. So um, once I add them to Goodreads they then get transferred onto my shelf up there and I'll start taking them down. Um, but yeah, it's kind of annoying because I'm on, at the moment I'm on 21 currently reading, but there's probably 15, 20 books there, so I'm gonna go back to 40 odd, but um, that's all right, I mean, I don't mind. Um, I'm still working on slowly but surely getting my TBR shelves down, you know, but um, there's no rush on it. And so, you know, I'll probably got another month worth of books or whatever and push myself back a month, but, so this time next month, I'll be back to 18, 19, you know? So yeah, that's where we're at. Hello, um, it is Thursday the 7th of October at quarter past six in the evening. Ooh, there we go. Um, I've, this evening I have been um, out in the garden doing some bits out there. Um, mostly got that where I want to. I mean, mostly now I just need to wait for like compost to come so I can start planting stuff. Uh, I planted some bulbs earlier, I've put my solar lights out, I've given it a tidy. I need to have a little trim uh, where there's um, a path along the side with some flowers on. Um, I just need to trim that so it's not overshooting the path so that the neighbours can still get up and down. But it's looking quite nice out there now. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to do that today while it's still light outside because it's already getting dark. Um, I've also got a load of washing on, um, which should be my last load of washing and then I have a big pile of, oh, hello, where are we? There we go, big pile of laundry behind me there to put away. Um, just because again, as I said, I've been focusing on doing the garden, so I've let inside get a, get a little bit messy today, which is totally fine, because it's like, you know, priorities, you work on one thing and then another. So uh, once I've done the last bits of the garden, was it just that I needed to do? I'm just trying to see. Um, I don't know if you can see here through my, win my window. Yeah, you can see it looks as though the window's dirty, but it's actually just, um, it's these, um, it's like double glazing. So some bit, some like crap or whatever's got between the two panels. So basically it just means I actually I need new windows, um, which I will get done at some point. It's gone onto my list of things to probably do next year because it's not high priority or anything like that. Because uh, I have like two lists. I have the list of stuff that I can do now, which is like little things like, even up there, alphabetize all my vinyl. That's gonna take for forever, but um, stuff like that um, doesn't cost any money and isn't like a huge job. Like whereas like, for example, painting the walls in here, which I want to eventually do, that's going to take a long time, so that's going to have to wait, you know? So I'm like prioritising the quick wins. But yeah, so I just want to trim back those flowers in the garden. I feel like there was something else I needed to do out there as well. No, I actually think that might be it for my outside jobs that I wanted to do, um, at least like in the, in the short run. So I want to do that soon, before it gets dark ideally, and then I can just tick that off outside's done, you know? And then I go back to just give and have a quick surface tidy in here because uh, I've done most of the stuff. 
I uh, finally swept my kitchen yesterday because my kitchen's finally all unpacked now so I swept the floor there. As I say I've got the clothes in to wash, this is the last load. I have a load of washing up to do in the sink um, but I've basically been doing, I've been averaging like a load a day because I'll do a sink full of washing up, put it out to dry and then wait, wait for the next day for it to be dry and then put it away so that's probably my next job after I do the, that little trim back in the garden will be to uh, do the, tackle the washing up in the sink and uh, from there I will then move on to putting this laundry away and stuff and then it's as I say just general little other bits uh, I got my new hoover today that my mum bought for me so thank you Mama Cobain so now I need to do the hoovering as well uh, I'll probably do that over the weekend to be honest uh, this weekend, Friday night, so tomorrow night we've got the uh, open mic at the Art Centre. Um, so I'll be going to that and playing some tunes. It's going to be in the old converted church space as well. Um, I've already kind of planned out what I'm going to play. I'm going to play uh, three, well you get three songs. So I'm going to do one of mine called The Wolf and the Fox. I'm going to do um, Against Pollution by The Mountain Goats. Great song. Uh, it starts with the line, when I work down at the liquor store, Guy with a shotgun came raging through the place, muscled his way behind the counter, I shot him in the face. Um, and then I'm also going to do, um, fucking, what's it called? Bright Eyes song, um, ba -ba -ba -ba, Road to Joy. Let me just play it for you quickly, because my guitar's out. So it's based on Ode to Joy by Beethoven, and it goes like, uh, Came out with no conclusions Flowers sleeping in their beds City cemetery summon I'm wide awake it's morning And then it's got this cool bit where it goes I read the body count out of the paper And now it's written all over my face no one ever plans to sleep out in the... Oh, shit. Oh, that was supposed to be E minor. Oh, well. Yeah, I'll play it right when I do it. So that's that, anyway. Uh, I finished reading The Dark by uh, James Herbert, which was very good. Did enjoy that. I am now reading The Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test by Tom Wolfe, um, which... It's a very strange book. It's like non-fiction. A lot about Ken Casey and his, his band of merry pranksters. Um, but it's got a lot of like literary figures in it as well as Casey. So um, we've just met up with um, Kerouac and Ginsburg. Um, what's his name? Uh, Neil Cassidy is in it as well. He's driving the bus. They're basically going around in a bus taking loads of LSD. So it's a fun old read. So yeah, I'm cracking on with that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to read next. I really could do with... I've got my pile of books that I've hauled. Which I just need to add to Goodreads and then shove on my shelves. So I might try and get to one of those soon. We'll see. I got a lot to do, so on my computer list I got 35 things, on tidying I have 49, and then on writing I have 15, so it's going to take a fair old while. But that's where we're at, so yes, now you know. Hello, it is 12.30pm uh, on Saturday the 9th of October. Um, I'm a little bit hungover today, so um, I had like four or five pints yesterday, so it's my first day on the sesh as it were. Let me turn my light on. There we go. Try and wash out some of that redness. My red hair is making uh, making the camera struggle to ad adjust, I suppose. Yeah, so I went to the open mic yesterday. It was quite good. It was in the church space. Um, played some tunes. Did some songs with my band, The Ilk, as well, with Dave playing keyboard, um, which we've not really practiced, so that was good. So we did one of my songs, and then um, we did I'm a Believer by The Monkees. Um, I'm still reading The Electric Kool-Aid Acid Test by Tom Wolfe, still very good. And I also read Little Miss Star by Roger Hargreaves, so this is one of the Mr. Men books. This was like just a 3.5 out of 5, it was okay, got a bit meta. Um, I actually just picked this up because it was on offer, it was three children's books for £2 in a charity shop. So I picked this one up, um, just because it's a Mr. Men book basically. Uh, and because I was getting some other books, uh, one was for me actually and one was for my colleague uh, Fran for her kid Hugo. So yeah, that was good. Um, I've just been watching Foxes Afloat on YouTube. Shout out to Charlie Heathcote who recommended them to me. It's a great channel. It's um, two guys 
who uh, live on a houseboat and they just travel up and down the tra travel up and down the country. Um, so the video I just watched <laughs> it did make me laugh actually. Um, so the one I just watched um, is titled Number 172. We gave up our home and jobs for this, and it's a bit of like a Q and A style. Well, not really a Q and A, I suppose. I mean, they had some questions at an event they went to about how they got into uh, living on a houseboat. And so it's just them kind of telling their story, but it includes because they're in a relationship and I don't know how long they've been together I'm, I guess like 20 plus years something like that um, But they they talked about how they got into their relationship and basically one of them while well, they were both dating the same guy um, And like they didn't know about each other or whatever and then they bumped into each other and then the one like legged it Oh, I've run out of space. Oh, well yeah, anyway, it was good, it was good, watch it. And that's it for today's update. Hello, just got out of the shower, Dane, here. It is, uh, what is it? It's about 20 past one in the afternoon of Sunday, the 10th of October, 2021. I'm so tired. Uh, I had to get up early today. Uh, the, the guy, the van guy that I've been hiring, uh, he met me at my old property this morning so we could do a dump run. Um, just to take the last few bits from there. So hopefully I'm finally done and never have to go back there again Although I've thought that like three times So yeah, I went to bed at like half two three last night and then got up about half nine. So I'm quite tired uh, There is the acoustic jam at the Bellevue later today. So I might go along to that. We'll see um, Dave wants me to go, but he wants to do some songs with him on keyboard and I never enjoy that as much Maybe it's just the songs. I don't know. We're playing one of his songs, which I don't particularly enjoy doing because it's very boring for me to do. Um, I'm a believer by the monkeys, which is just fine, whatever. And then one of my songs that's a super old one, and I'd rather play the new ones, you know. But hey ho. The other news is that the hard drive on my Mac has gone tits up, so I'm just trying to fix it at the moment. But I don't really know what I'm doing. So, although having said that, it's done something. I don't know. Is it is it fucked? Okay. Well, I mean that's something. It's now recognized. I think I've lost all of my files, which is a bit of a pisser. Maybe they'll come back. I don't know. But at least before I couldn't even like run, um, couldn't run Final Cut Pro. I think I can now open it. It's just, as I say, all of my files will be gone, which is annoying, but it, it's not the end of the world. It does mean I've lost, like, my wrap-up for September and my haul and stuff. But what are you going to do? I guess I could probably refilm them. I'm just trying to, like, scheme it out in my head. I probably can refilm a lot of stuff. There'll be some reviews that have gone. I can probably refilm. I couldn't do my haul, but I could refilm my wrap-up because I can get the data from my blog. Um, I could refilm... I guess the shout outs, the radio shows, that'd be a pain. I think I can reclaim my notes on them and refilm those. So yeah, it just might be that I've given myself like six hours of video editing work, but I mean, it is what it is. We'll see. Um, I mean, before when I was trying to open my hard drive, it was just crashing completely. It now lets me open the hard drive, but says there's nothing on it. Um, we, but that's still a very slight improvement, you know. <laughs> so we'll see what happens when I try and load Final Cut Pro. Um, I'm still reading, um, what's it, the electric Kool-Aid acid test. Oh no, Biggie, where are you? There he is. Um, I'm near the end now. I've got like 20 pages to go, so I'll probably finish that today. And then I'm going to read East is East by, uh, who is it by? Ayub Khan Din. Uh, this was turned into a movie, which I quite enjoyed. Um, but it's a play. So I'm going to check that out, um, see how it compares to the movie, and then probably re-watch the movie as well. Um, and then, oh, I've started listening to the audiobook of The Wizard of Oz by Frank Albaum, because I'm supposed to have finished that by tomorrow. It's a reread for me, but then uh, we've got book two, uh, which is probably like The Wonderful Land of Oz, something like that. Uh, I've already got it in the post, so I'm buddy reading that with um, Joel Swagman. So we've got two weeks per book, so I need to you know get to that so that's where we're at uh what else is new a couple of tiny bits of filming i need to do i managed to upload some videos earlier because i was at the art center like when i went via the dump um and i have a new song that i need to record now that i've got all my instruments unpacked but i'm not really feeling it i'm just oh i can't believe i hope oh, i haven't lost all of that shit 
There was so much shit. All the vlogs, I will have lost like two, probably two months worth of vlog footage. I hope we can get it back. I hope we can get it back. Yo, it is me. Am I in focus? Let me turn my light on. Getting a bit dark in here. There we go. Uh, what is it? It is currently quarter past seven on Wednesday the 13th of October. Um, I've actually done most of my work work, which is good. So I'm having a rare bit of free time to work on my own stuff. I've got a song I want to record at some point as well. So I'll probably do that soonish. Um, I don't know when I last updated you. Well, over the weekend, I think I did on Saturday. On Sunday, I went to the Bellevue Sunday Jam and got a bit drunk because I've got used to drinking again. So I'm out again tonight. I'm performing a gig tonight with my band, The Ilk. So I'm probably going to do one alcoholic drink, one soft drink and alternate like that. Um, we will see. But yeah, I have to leave for that in like about an hour or so. So I'll be going to that soon. In the meantime, just getting a few last minute bits and bobs done. Um, so yeah, went to that on uh, the Sunday. On the Monday, I had my counselling. And then I've just been sort of staying at home since then, really. Oh, I went out yesterday to my friend Sabrina's house. She invited me because she's vegan. So she cooked this like a uh, jackfruit style barbecue jackfruit. Um, and I've never managed to make jackfruit taste nice. So she invited me over for that. And then she gave me some like cookie balls, which I still need to, to cook uh, in the oven. I'll probably do those when I get back from this gig if I'm sober enough. <laughs> Because uh, my friend Fran is coming over tomorrow with her son Hugo um, So we're gonna have a coffee and we're gonna get the barbecue out even though it's October Because I want to crown my barbecue. I want to use it at least once before you know the winter kicks in um, But it also needs assembling so I think Fran's gonna help me with that and a bit of garden stuff um, Which is good lots of stuff still coming in the post each day So I have a big box there. That's got a cat tree in it, which I need to assemble for biggie So I'll do that soon uh, it's just getting round to it, you know, but as I say, I've been kind of playing catch-up and doing a lot of work to make up for the work that I didn't do when I was moving in um, And now because of that I've now caught up with all of my work So I actually don't have too much on which is good in a way also not good in a way because I do still need to keep making money <sighs> I've been catching up with my eBay stuff as well because I've sold a bunch of stuff on eBay so I need to like track it all down and post it. I've got some books in the post today. I just have a couple to update you on. So I'm currently reading, uh, what is it called? The Marvelous Land of Oz, uh, which is the second book in the Wizard of Oz series. So I'm buddy reading that with Joel Swagman. Um, and I actually, I read, reread the first book via audio as well. Um, and yeah, I'm enjoying The Marvelous Land. So I'm hopefully probably going to finish it tonight or tomorrow. Um, not sure what I'll pick up next. Maybe one of these new books I've hauled because I've got some like pretty short Leonard Cohen lyrics books which won't take me long to get through. Um, what's that other one? Oh, a John Darnell book. He's the guy from the Mountain Goats. Because one of my clients gave me a £20 Amazon voucher as a bonus. So I was doing that. There's a cat here and he's got a little bit of fluff. Can you let me get that little bit of bonus fluff? Anyway, um, yeah, so I read East is East by Ayub Khan Din. This is a play. Uh, there's a film based on it, um, which I've seen years ago, but it's been a fair old while. But yeah, probably a four out of five did enjoy. Um, and then I read The Graduate by Charles Webb, and there's a movie based about this as well. I will say the movie of The Graduate, I think, did a better job because basically the love bit between Ben and Elaine... It just felt insta-lovey in the book, you know? Um, whereas in the movie, it actually worked because it kind of slowly developed over a longer period of time. Whereas in the book, it just suddenly goes from hating her to loving her. So yeah, I mean, it's still alright. It's like 3.5 out of 5. And as I say, I'm now reading that Wizard of Oz book. I'm going to buddy read with Joel. Um, but I think that's enough for today's little update. Uh, as I say, I'm going to go to the, the pub later and play this gig. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. And in the meantime, I'm going to do some more video editing. All right, everybody, it's 20 past 10 on Thursday, the 14th of October. Um, been doing some bits with drills today. So look, hung my guitars up on the wall. Very nice. Um, and I hooked up my uh, studio light as well. So that's attached to a screw now. I can hear something making a noise and I don't know what it is. Maybe the cat. Oh, yeah, I've got a cat tree now as well. But Biggie's too big for it, I think. I don't know. We'll see if he uses it. He might not use it. Um, I think that's mostly what's new. So I played the gig yesterday, it was alright, although there was nobody there, but th there usually isn't anybody there when we play that particular venue, so um, yeah, it was basically just the sound guy and us, so we used it as a chance to have a bit of a rehearsal, you know. Um, 
Met my friend Fran earlier in town, so we had a coffee, came back here, set up my barbecue and had a barbecue in the garden uh, with her son Hugo, which was nice. And then I potted some plants as well, so another good job done. I do still need to film my house tour at some point. Let me make a note. House tour. Uh, I've also got this song I need to record. I don't know when I'm going to do it. Tomorrow I'm at the art centre for an hour or so. Um, just helping out at Guitari Lounge um, while Fran does some stuff in the church. So um, yeah, we will see. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of work while I'm there. Uh, I don't actually have a huge amount of work on at the moment, which is both good and bad, you know. Um, I'm back at my eBay selling limit, so I can't list anything new on that. So um, I don't even have like a huge amount of video editing to do. So I'm just sort of pottering around being a little bit productive at the moment. I should get a call from uh, talk talk tomorrow a manager is gonna ring me to talk about my broadband because it still isn't sorted so I'm still having to tether to my phone I finished reading the marvelous land of Oz which I'm doing as a buddy read with Joel Swagman uh, I did enjoy probably like a probably a four out of five it was pretty good um, so I've got a review of that to do which I have actually started filming as well um, what else have been oh I ordered a cat DNA test for Biggie because, you know, I'm spending a lot of money at the moment, so might as well just keep spending money, because why not? Um, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, that's about it, really. I'm currently reading uh, Danny Wallace, Hamish and the Terrible, Terrible Christmas and other stories. So these are children's stories by uh, a journalist slash author who I quite enjoy. Uh, he started writing like mostly non-fiction stuff and then he wrote a novel and now he's got these children's books So I'm sort of slowly going through those Quite enjoying those and I think that's about it. I'm kind of hungry. So I might go and make some food in a minute. We'll see Yep. Hi Biggie Hello, say hello to the internet Hi internet Oh, okay, it is me. Hello. It is um, 4 p.m on Sunday the 17th of October. I'm very worn out, uh, let's see. I can't remember when I last updated you, to be honest. Um, Friday, Friday afternoon, I recorded a new song called Something in the Water, which is on my SoundCloud. I'll probably put it up on YouTube anyway at some point. In fact, make it a quick note. Something water eat, okay. Um, so yeah, I did that on Friday afternoon and then in the evening I went over to the Arts Centre because it was Guitari Lounge, which is an under 18s open mic night. The last one I went to, there were literally like five people there, but this time it was about 20 odd, so it was a little bit busier, so that was nice. Um, and I just covered the bar while um, Fran, my colleague, she was setting up the church. Um, Saturday, we had a craft fair, so I went along to the craft fair in the day. And I got some like, hot sauce and some fridge magnets. So one for me, one for my mum as an early Christmas present. And then in the evening I was working the bar there for Big People Party. Which was basically, it was kind of poorly marketed. Because they didn't really explain what it was all about. Um, the, the slogan was like, only music from before 2000. But basically it was a reggae night. Which is fine, I love a bit of reggae, you know. Um, it was quite loud because they'd got the bass turned up and the building's an old church so the like windows were vibrating and it was hard to hear people when you were serving them at the bar. And we sold 10 bottles of Cavoisier uh, in like doubles at a time. So we, we made quite good money on the bar though so that's good. Um, so it was worth us doing. Fran didn't have much of a good time. I enjoyed it a little bit more so there is that. But today I am now knackered because I was... Right, so Saturday, I left my house at about 2 to go and meet, might have even been earlier than that, to go and meet Sabrina. Um, and we went, yes Biggie, I know, she got you a present, didn't she? So we did, uh, we were going around the charity, well, she went, we went to the arts fair, and then we went around the charity shops together. So I got some books and some vinyl, she got a few books. Um, but we also did like the charity shop shit challenge, so we had two quid, and we had to try and get each other the shittest thing we could find for two quid. So this is what she got for me. Well, for me and Biggie, because Biggie likes it as well, <laughs> for <laughs> unknown reasons. Uh, and you open it up, it's got a little pig inside. I don't know if you, yeah, it sparkles, look, it's beautiful. Mwah. There you go, little Miss Piggy. That was weird. I'm not, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we did that. I got her, um, it was like a 
kids karaoke thing and you could put your own mp3s on it and stuff but she won because that is definitely the shittest of the two and also technically I'm disqualified because it hadn't got any batteries in so the thing was two quid but she has to buy batteries which kind of goes against the two pound point but I did get some good stuff I got Pam Ayres, John Hegley, I got some vinyl and I got this bad boy The Secret of Crickley Hall by James Herbert and weirdly enough Sabrina's into James Herbert as well although I think she's read like two of his books and I've read like four or something and he has a lot so um and she's got a bunch that i don't have so we're going to kind of read and swap and all this stuff you know but that's one that neither of us have read and it's one of his more well-known ones because it got made into a tv show and i got i found it first so I, I guess i've got to read that soon so i can give that over to her speaking of reading well last time we talked i think i was reading five get on the property ladder by bruno vincent that was a four out of five very funny full review coming soon and very relatable as someone who's just bought a property um then I picked up the lyrics of Leonard Cohen. Well, actually, no, then I picked up Carving a Statue, which is a Graham Greene play, and then I lost it. So then I picked up the lyrics of Leonard Cohen, and then I found Carving a Statue again, so I'm, I'm back on that now. Uh, and that's a play about a sculptor who's trying to make, he's trying to sculpt God, basically, but he's not a very good sculptor. So it's kind of a lot of like humor and irony in it there as well. Um, and just some really great lines. I mean, it's Graham Greene, it's one of my favorite authors, you know. So I'm, I'm enjoying that. Um, lyrics of Leonard Cohen is all right. I mean, I love Leonard Cohen's lyrics. I love his music. I think the most interesting thing actually about the lyrics of Leonard Cohen is at the end of each song, there's a little bit of like information about that song and how it came about um, and all that stuff. So that's pretty good. So yeah, that's where I'm at with reading. Um, I went to Morrison's early to get stuff. I'm gonna make a curry later and some homemade onion salad. So I might, I might do a little bit of video of that we'll see um, I'm so tired so yesterday I think I did like nine ten miles something like that so my legs are quite sore today but it hasn't stopped me from being productive because um, I've done some house stuff I put up a new shower curtain I put up a new shelf in the living room and I'm just putting in the process of putting up another new one so that's good and then I'm gonna put up there see those shelves I'm probably going to put one below those, behind where that wall hanging goes. That hanging is actually going to get nailed in, but I kind of want to iron it before I do that. But behind that wall hanging, there's going to be another shelf, um, and that's going to have, I guess, that box on it up there, and a few other bits. Like, these are all the top stuff, right? The top pile up there. Those are all my vinyls I'm keeping. That second one down is vinyl uh, I'm selling. Uh, which is like my singles collection and then um, yeah and then this third one well it is fine I also have to look in my room because I've sold an album and I've got like 400 records in no particular order and I have to find the right one so I might start the work of alphabetizing that we'll see it's gonna take it a while uh, and I think that's about updated um, yeah so I guess I'll love you and leave you for now. So as always, thanks a lot for watching this week's reading vlog. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Peace.